Hello, it's Anya from Anya Marta Art. I'm just making pattern out of this one motif I sketched in Procreate. I brought it here in Photoshop and I thought it might be quite useful to show you how it could quickly turn into pattern. So first of all, I turn this uh, motif, this heart into smart object. Basically, you just click right button and convert to smart object, but I already done it, so I don't have to do it again. Here underneath, I have this blue background. Um, there's one, another one here because I just was trying on. Uh, so it should be just blue, really. And now what I'm going to do is view pattern preview. And now you can see and that's how it's going to look. Oh, there's a little preview of, uh, of those little dots that I did earlier. And that's why I wanted to show you this tutorial, really. Mm, so... There's no dots here, by the way. It, there's a little glitch. Sometimes it does that and has it in the memory. Anyway, let's get back to it. Um, so this heart, I'm clicking on it and I'm pressing Alt and I'm just dragging to create another heart. And I'm just placing it in between, nice and symmetrical, right there. Let go. And that already created pattern here for us. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more um, added on bit to it, which is dots. So I want to create dots that are not exactly the circles that are very, very symmetrical and very perfect. I like to do my dots hand drawn. So I'm going to turn these parts off at the moment. I'm going to make another layer, empty layer. And now I'm going to go view guides new guide layout and here i'm going you can put any number but eight by eight seems to be working for me uh, and you'll see why in a minute so okay and i'm choosing my favorite kind of cream color that is in my palette mm. and it shows me roughly where those circles should be and look how quick and easy that is so if i start here Make sure you're not know, right layer, just roughly, but within the boundary of that square. So it's just easier to keep it all in order, but it doesn't have to be very, very, very precise. It just keeps it in its place, really. I'm going, like I said, I prefer them to be a little bit more imperfect with hand drawn quality. And that's the way I prefer to do it. You can do less of them they would, than you would do four and so on. So it all fills up and it's nice and satisfying when it's all done. So you can have a close look if you really want to fix anything. But I think they're looking fine. It's just what I'm after. Mm, and now we can view guides, clear guides. And I'm going to bring that heart back in. So I want those dots to be behind the heart. And they are a little bit overpowering. So I'm going to turn the opacity down. The other thing you can do is play with different um, blending modes. The camera out here. Just gives you an idea what you can do blending modes but we're just going to keep to the normal and reduce opacity that's it and it gives you an idea how the pattern would look like if you want it bigger or smaller you can go step further and just delete those dots from inside the hearts so let's try that and basically you just take your eraser and you get rid of the dots inside the hearts and I think that might be even better make sure you don't miss anything and it's not problem uh, erasing manually like that it's sometimes selecting things is a problem when it's beyond that area so I quite like that it turned up really nice um, so what else you could do in here? We could turn those hearts different color. Uh, so let's get here, for example, this super 
super light or maybe that's a nice shade so we're going to do another layer here and you can either manually because that heart will disguise any sort of imperfections just do like that and then fill the bucket just like that uh, but because it's on the cusp here or outside let me show you if i do that here it's not going to quite work and if i use my bucket you see it only wants to fill within the area of the square so what we can do you can either take everything here and move it slightly so it belongs to the uh, square and then it's no problem you can fill it up fine another thing you can do is uh, just like i said manually uh, fill it up the same applies to if you select if you if i would select that and fill it it will just fill within the area here so just something to keep in mind that's quite cute i quite like that i might put a little writing inside or maybe sh shadow highlight that's the one so another glass uh, and we want that nice creamy color where is it there we go like that so it looks like it's um has a little highlight but it doesn't have to be it you could be without it or you can build up a little bit of color inside it's entirely up to you quite like it it looks really adorable so i hope this is useful for you guys let me know if you have any questions at all and i'll be adding little tutorials um especially with photoshop creating patterns here just to let you know how to finish this here uh, you, i would normally just save it at this point as a master copy as a psd um, so i can always come in here and do whatever i want to those uh, layers but if i'm done with it i'm go layer flatten image and then you go view preview and this is your tile this is your repeating tile you will go over and over again so again this is it uh, let me know please if you have any questions and please subscribe for more tutorials about patterns thank you so much bye